Day two of the San Juan Showcase, we met at a local park, got our group together, made sure we had our lunches, our drinks, everything that was needed, and we headed out. We were told this Arch Canyon Trail had tons of river crossings and some beautiful scenery, along with some Indian ruins. Okay, we are in an area called Arch Canyon. It's located by Blanding, Utah. It's a beautiful canyon. You have tall standing cliffs on both sides. You're able to see Native American ruins on each side. If you look really hard in the crevices and in some of the shadow areas, you can see the Indian ruins. What's your favorite part about this ride? The people, the country. It's just good to get with, back with everybody. This little section of the trail, I don't know if it was cut out by wind, river, or humans, but this little place was pretty cool. It had cliffs on both sides, it was cut out of the rock, and it became one of many of our favorite parts of the trail both days. As you go through this narrow section, it opens up on the other side to the big dugway, big open canyon, it's just beautiful. From in the town, it doesn't look like this at all. Uh -huh. It just... <laughs> That's why I live down here, because we have this here. You get up on the mountains and the four, just thick forests full of trees. And we can get to four wheel and all of it, and we can leave from, I can leave from my house. Never have to trailer up. As we made our way up the canyon, we did encounter a few hikers. We didn't encounter anybody on a motorcycle or bicycle. We didn't come across anybody else on a side-by-side -side or ATV either. These parts are a lot of fun because the, you got to drop down, drive across the river and back up. This one actually is pretty steep. Got to drop down in. Water in the bottom wasn't too deep, fairly shallow. The other side on the coming back up the bank, had to put it in full drive to make sure you crawl out okay. We had a fun time. So Cassie, when you come down here, what type of riding do you expect? Is it hard rock rolling or is it smooth? Um, yeah, I honestly was kind of nervous because I didn't know what to expect, but I was pleasantly surprised to find that it was relatively easy trail. There wasn't anything too difficult um, or anything that anybody wasn't able to get up. So it was, it was really easy and manageable for, I think, a wide variety of different machines. Do you have to have a machine like yours or can it be stocked straight from the factory? I'm not an expert, but I think that there's at least a couple of stock machines that were able to make it without a problem so far, so I don't think that you need anything fancy to be able to come out here and enjoy it. As you can see by the video, we had all different kinds of machines with us today. We had everything from stock and mild to crazy custom to full enclosed machines, open air machines, and everything in between. You literally can drive any machine on this trail and have a great time. This river actually goes dry, so we were pretty fortunate to see enough water as we did on this particular trail, because later on in the year, there was no water at all. My name's Eric Smith, and I uh, did the Arch Canyon ride today. It was a lot of fun. Um, loved the river crossings. I joined as a platinum member because uh, I like how UTV Utah keeps trails open, and I like to support that a ton. We are making our way up Arch Canyon. This is a freaking gorgeous ride. Just so you know, this is what we've been seeing in the background. Lots of river crossings. Here's one right here. The river crossings are actually really awesome. Uh, we were told that we would have like something about a hundred different river crossings. Can you tell us about the Indians? Well, like what they did? Well, there was a culture in here called the Anazazi which means ancient one in Navajo. And so when they lived in these areas, they used the creeks and stuff, and they would farm the bottoms of these, um, of the canyon, and they would grow their crops. 
and they'd wait till fall and then they would start harvesting and then they would gather them up and then they would take them up to the Indian ruins and they have little, little ruins they called granaries and that's where they would stash their food. And they were in here between 1300 AD and 1600 AD, right in that area. And they figure in this canyon and all around, there could have been at least 30,000 Native Americans living in this place at one time. But they'd spread out because they're different clans. You know, they may be the same tribe, but they have clans. And so they're spread out in different areas. When you come down here, what do you expect of riding-wise? It's great, man. I like it today, especially because it's uh, going through the river back and forth. Tons of Indian uh, antiques, their old shelters, everything else. And you can see that nice arch up there. That's why they call this uh, Arch Canyon. It's beautiful here, nice and quiet, and serene. We were pretty spoiled. We were driving a 2021 Polaris Ranger North Star Edition. The North Star has heat and air conditioning to keep you comfortable, whether it's hot or cold outside. It's also running HCR long travel combined with Zebro's exit shocks. It also has four inch dual idler high lifter portals with a gear reduction to keep everything smooth and plenty of power. We had PCI radios to keep in touch with all of our group throughout the day. And we also watched everybody on ride command to make sure that we didn't lose anybody. When you got here, what is your favorite part of the trail so far? Well, I don't know, that's been really hard. The, all of the trails we've done down here have been pretty awesome. Um, I really, really like the dugway at the beginning of the trail, um, but I also really loved uh, the river crossings. I think that those are always my favorite part. How many river crossings do you think there are? Well, I didn't count, but on the way back I'm going to count, but somebody said it's like 65 river crossings each way, which puts it at like 130. So I'm going to count on the way back and I'll let you know at the end of the ride. All right. When you come down here, do you like this or do you like, what do you like riding? I think this Arch Canyon is probably one of the prettiest canyons that I've been in. I mean, 60 something river crossings. You got an arch right here behind us. I mean, it's, this is pretty awesome. Indian ruins, a lot of cool stuff. So in my opinion, this is, this is one of the best rides. Yeah. And what you just said about that, what is your favorite part about the trail? Favorite part about the trail? Yes. I think all the river crossings. The river crossings are pretty cool. But then also, I don't know, because way up high on the cliffs, you'll see a lot of the Indian stuff. So it's pretty cool to see that they used to live in this area. It's pretty cool. Well, there's another arch up there they call Little Arch. And so we're on a fabulous trail with lots of water in it. And it's a contributory that goes all the way down towards uh, what they call Cone Ridge. So it's a pretty cool area. Do you consider this riding? Would you do this again? Oh yes, most definitely. Do you suggest this? Do you think you would do this again? Oh, I'd definitely do it again. Lots of fun. It's so pretty to see and so many different things. You can't see it all the first time. Yeah. <laughs> Come and join UTV Utah on Facebook at UTV Utah. We have a big Facebook group with almost 50,000 members. You can also follow us on Instagram at UTV Utah. For more information about our website and our membership and our rides, you can visit www.utvutah.com. We have all of our membership information as well as swag, t-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, flags, mugs, you name it, as well as ride details and more. Come join us on our next UTV Utah adventure. Visit utvutah.com. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and follow. We appreciate your support and hope to see you on the trail.
Arch Canyon was awesome. It was one of those trails that the river crossings, the Indian ruins, their dwellings in the cliffs, the scenery, the company was amazing. And uh, we hope to see you on our next UTV Utah ride. You could join us on Facebook for free at UTV Utah. You can check out our website, utvutah.com. We have free memberships. We also have paid memberships that help to keep trails and access open. All of our rides are free. Our events are free. Come join us. Hope to see you on the next one.